Dr. Genevieve Ignatius is a dermatologist and we're talking about Margarita burn. I know it has a funny name, Dr. Ignatius. When I first heard about it, I have to be honest, I didn't hear about it. I mean, I assumed it had to do with something about drinking margaritas. Not necessarily the case, though. It's more about making them, right? <laughs> That's exactly right. So margarita burns are a skin reaction we often see this time of year, and it actually has a two-part cause. The first is exposure to certain naturally occurring plant chemicals and they're in lots of different common plants and they make the skin a little bit more sensitive to the sun. And then the second is that sun exposure and it's in particular it is ultraviolet light that really activates the plant chemical. Okay. And when that happens and those two exposures occur, then the skin develops what looks and feels like a sunburn. And it can be much more than a sunburn because it can, I heard it can, I've seen pictures, it can even blister. How does it based on how much maybe of the citrus that you have on your fingers, how much time in the sun, what makes it worse? Those two factors play a huge role, plus the type of citrus or other plant that gets on your skin. For example, limes have a very high content of this particular chemical, which is called a furocoumarin. It's a very fancy name for a chemical that basically sensitizes the skin to light. But you're right, it can make blisters, and those are painful. And the rash typically peaks at about three days, and then... And after that, one to two weeks later, you'll get brown splotches on the skin where the rash was. But those last for months, sometimes, or even years. Wow, that is crazy. W aside from, I guess, the, the main way to stop this or prevent it would be washing your hands, right? But if you get to that point of it's become a problem, I have a burn, how do you treat it and how do you improve it so that it, it heals quicker? So you always want to treat any type of burn with gentle skin care. We like cool compresses, healing ointments, such as Vaseline or Aquaphor. Um, then for the brown spots, we often recommend bleaching creams, but truly prevention is the best treatment. Does it take, you know, like a whole lime? What does it take? How much does it take to actually give you a burn where it would be painful or make a big difference and you'd see it? So that's a great question. Um, most often we'll see it as drips or uh, little streaks, sometimes handprints. So you need to have enough lime juice or other citrus on your body so that it actually feels wet. And then you need to have an exposure to the sun of not just a minute or two, but you know, a significant amount of time. You know where we also see it is sometimes children will come in with it and they have an adult oh. handprint on them <gasps> from juice. Oh my goodness, that is crazy. I, I've never heard of this, so I'm just amazed by it. Have you seen any severe cases yourself that you've had a treat or you know that you've seen in your office? So actually just recently we had a case of a young person who came in with brown splotches in the shape of these streaks and didn't know what they were from. And when we did a detailed history, it turned out that yes, there were some margaritas involved. Wow, so it's not necessarily from drinking them, guys. It can be, it's from making them at the beginning. Um, what about, we talk about the sunlight, is it the same difference if say someone went tanning afterwards and maybe didn't wash their hands right away? Such a great question. So the answer is absolutely yes. Ultraviolet light is what triggers this. Ah. And that's why if you are making limeade or lemonade to sell at an outdoor stand, or you of course are making fresh guacamole and squeezing a spritz of lime, or you're a bartender and you're squeezing some lime in a drink, all of those with exposure to sunlight afterwards can cause the rash. I've even had patients come in where they are bleaching their hair the old fashioned way. Uh huh sun and lemons and plant residue gets on their skin, they also develop that rash. That's a really old fashioned way. We shouldn't talk about that because then we're aging ourselves, Dr. Ignatius. <laughs> um, last but not least, before we go, what's your warning out there? We talk about the burns and the situation with a margarita burn, but really we should be protecting our skin all year round. So important, especially living here in the Valley of the Sun. Absolutely. I would be a terrible dermatologist if I didn't tell everyone who would listen to please make sure they protect their skin every single day. And that doesn't just mean sunscreen, which is a very critical component of it, but it also means photoprotective clothing and hats. All right. Something to think about as we get you started here. Thank you so much, Dr. Ignatius. We sure appreciate your time. Thank you, Tess. Have a great day.